Welcome to a brand new Star Wars Old Republic video where today we are going to be looking at new upcoming cartel market items from patch 5.0 or in other words after the release of Knights of the Eternal Throne. Now I did do a, another video which was dealing with the Eternal Command Pack. Now that is probably going to be the first cartel pack released just alongside it, the Kotet's launch. However, these are data mined armor sets, weapons, and mounts that are basically just projected to be released sometime in patch 5.0. A lot of the information is still incomplete. We don't have a lot of the images for the mounts, so that's unfortunate. And we also don't know whether all of these are going to be released in the same cartel pack or whether they might be spread across different cartel packs. But the fact of the matter is the things I'm going to be showing you in this video, they are going to be released sometime in patch 5.0. So let's get right into it. Now the Eternal Command Pack had some really, really nice armor sets and um, it was you know, showing kind of an upward trend. A lot of people are actually getting excited like, oh, maybe Bioware has, actually has better designers or something and they're going to be releasing a lot nicer armor sets. But unfortunately, that trend did not last very long and we have some pretty crappy armor sets in this one. However, the gold armor sets are still very, very nice and that's definitely something to get excited for. But let's get to the crappy stuff first. Uh, the first one you see here is the Crimson Raiders armor set. Now this one is bronze, and for those of you who might not see it, this is just a complete and utter reskin of the Havoc Squad Specialist armor set. Uh, that was a silver armor set released with the Disavowed pack. And, um, you know, take some experience from that one. It didn't do too well in the GTN. It dropped very low. It wasn't even really a good item to buy low sell high with because it's, uh, I don't imagine it's selling very high actually. A lot of players didn't like the design and stuff. And um, this one basically has the exact same design. I personally think the helmet looks pretty nice, but the upper body armor is also pretty generic. And uh, the color scheme I don't think is going to appeal to a lot of players. I actually personally kind of like that rustic red color, but um, unfortunately, yeah, I just don't see a lot of players liking it. And probably anyone who uses this is probably going to use a dye or something. But anyways, the fact that it's a reskin, it's going to be bronze, so super, super common. I definitely see, see that dropping very, very low on the GTN. So unfortunately, that's not a really good bronze armor set. Going on to the next bronze armor set, I'm not going to spend much time on this one either because this is the Midnight Racers armor set. And yeah, there's really nothing to talk about. I mean, it's just a generic looking armor set. Uh, the color scheme, once again, is a little bit off. I don't like that blue color. And if anyone, if, if I was ever going to use this, I would definitely have to use a dye. Uh, the helmet itself looks unique but on the other hand doesn't look very nice i think it's too bulky and there you know i don't really see anyone using that ever uh so that's not a very good bronze armor set and it's not like there haven't been any good bronze armor sets you know uh you go back to all the way when the explorer packs were being released and we had amazing bronze armor sets we had things like the um the battle worn engineer things like the synthetic biofiber or the tactical infantry i mean those were armor sets that actually if you had the helmet and the chest piece they would actually give your armor graphic effects like you would have huds show up and stuff like that now those were amazing bronze armor sets they were common drops and people were happy to get them and they sold super well in the gtn even though they were common drops you know, and also with the battler packs, we had really nice armor sets like the Nightlife Operative. I personally on the Harbinger server have a hard time finding deals for the upper body armor that is anything below 50k. Like that is selling super high for a bronze armor set while the pack is still available. And I see that selling for like 500 to a million credits, 500k to a million credits uh, back over when the battler packs have been embargoed. So at that time, so... It's not like we haven't had good bronze armor sets, so I'm, I'm going to be waiting for a pack where that kind of stuff actually exists. Uh, this is not that pack. I mean, these bronze armor sets are not that good. Okay, going on to the silver armor sets. We have the Security Soldiers armor set. Now this one, once again, the color scheme just looks super off. I don't like that color at all. You know, just make it white or black or, or something like that. Don't make it uh, this weird greenish, bluish kind of color. But anyways, the real, really thing to notice from this one is the helmet now the mouth guard is kind of off but if you just look at the eye protective gear and those stripes at the side that is definitely resemblant of kylo ren's mask now i'm not sure if that's necessarily what they were intending but uh, it's you know it's only a silver armor set but it definitely could be used i mean when a lot of people are trying to make their tunes look like kylo ren and stuff like that especially with the defined vented saber being released that is definitely a helmet that would work pretty well for someone that was trying to make their character look like kylo ren Unfortunately, the only thing that would hinder that would be if a hood doesn't go over it. I mean, if this is too big of a mask and that a hood doesn't go over it, then that's kind of going to ruin the whole feel of it and probably, you know, it's going to sell a little bit more poorly on the GTN and not be as valuable. But if a hood can go over it, then I definitely see that helmet selling for a ton because anyone that wants to dress up their character like Kylo Ren is probably going to use that mask. 
other than that, the upper body armor looks okay, nothing too special about it. It is kind of a generic upper body armor, but this is not bad for a silver armor set. I kind of like this one, especially the Kylo Ren mask, but uh, once again, if a hood doesn't go over it, that kind of ruins it. The next silver armor set is the Taskmaster's armor set. Now, nothing too special here, nothing to really talk about. The gloves are pretty nice, actually, so I don't usually talk about gloves or belts or stuff, but the gloves are pretty nice. Uh, the upper body armor seems to just be like the unfettered trench coat, except it doesn't allow you to expose your upper body, uh, your upper body. it just kind of has this metal plate that, uh, that prevents it. And revealing body armor, things like the relaxed jumpsuit, uh, the covert energy, or the unfettered trench coat, tend to sell very well because it's very popular with female characters and also male characters that want to show off their upper body armor or their upper body, sorry, it keeps seeing armor but uh, but this one has a metal plate so I don't see that selling too well unfortunately it would be better if they just allowed it to be like the unfettered trench coat because it would probably sell for a lot more the helmet isn't too cool looking either uh, so that's just a generic silver armor set once again as I said nothing to really get excited for but let's get away with that Let's get into the gold armor sets because this is where the money is now These gold armor sets look absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to talk about them The first one is the frenzied warriors armor set you now there's you know, needless to say these are going to be gold So they're going to be pretty rare, but I definitely see these selling pretty well now that helmet is really nice I mean when I first saw that it looks very menacing, very Sith-like. I see a lot of Sith warriors wanting to use that on their characters. Uh, when I first saw it, it actually reminded me of like Alien or Predator. Like just the way their heads look, that's kind of what it reminded me of. But, uh, but the next really, really cool thing about this is the gloves. Or maybe that's the bracers. One person pointed out in my uh, comment section that you know how I say that shell, the shell that goes just above the gloves, uh, that plating type thing? A lot of people are saying that's actually the bracers, not associated with the gloves. But either way, looks very very cool and uh, and even the upper body armor it's a very simple there's not a lot of ornamentation not a lot of things that are around it however it just looks really nice in my opinion that is definitely something a sith would be wearing so i like that it's called the frenzied warriors armor set and a very very nice armor set but the next one this next one is absolutely amazing this one is called the unrelenting terrors armor set so aside from the name being absolutely awesome the unrelenting terror this just looks like a really, really nice armor set. Now, they did kind of ruin it a little bit with that red. I don't like that red color. I would have preferred it to be just um, black, fully black, or if, you know, don't make it red, make it white or something. But nonetheless, very, very nice. That upper body armor, there's just so much stuff to it. All these platings and stuff, and it, those bracers. I mean, uh, if that shell or that plating on top of the glove is actually associated with the bracers, this might be a pack where the bracers actually sell for a, lo a lot of credits. Uh, this is cape, right? We have uh, also a cape, so we haven't seen a lot of cape upper body armors introduced in the game recently, or a lot of nice ones anyway. So this is going to be a very, very nice one. Now, a lot of you guys might have been drawn to the helmet. This helmet is actually very, very resemblant of Darth Vader's helmet. So cue the Darth Vader clones. Anyone that ever wanted their character to look like Darth Vader, they're probably going to end up using this helmet. So that's probably going to sell for a ton on the GTN. Um, the, yeah, that helmet does definitely look the most Vader-ish helmet that anyone's ever going to find in Swotar. Once again, not sure if whoever designed this was actually going for that, but it does look like it, so, especially from the back. Um, so that's very nice. This is probably the nicest armor set that has been data mined so far from the Kotet, and um, yeah, I definitely see this selling for tons and tons of credits. I really like the upper body armor too, and the... Uh, the, you can't really see the boots, but the pants, you can kind of see the upper part of the pants. It looks very nice as well. I like the whole plating that's going on and stuff. So this is definitely going to be a really, really good armor set to get your hands on. And I see a lot of players liking it. Also, when I was looking in the comment section on Delphi and Reddit and stuff, a lot of people are excited about this armor set. There's a lot of hype around it. This is probably the one armor set that everyone kind of rallying around and saying this is a really nice one. So, uh, you look, be, you know, if you're going to open this pack, really look forward to getting this one because that's probably going to sell for a ton on the GTN. And this is probably kind of like those Sith Recluse armor set. Like, it's very similar to that. There's a lot of hype around it, and um, it's probably going to be a very nice armor set to own in general. Now, I'm a credit hoarder, but I'm actually kind of thinking about maybe trying to get this armor set for my own collection because I see a lot of my characters wearing this one. So that kind of ends the video because the only really cool thing to talk about are the armor sets. I'll quickly show you guys some of the weapons. Uh, there's not, there's really nothing too exciting about this. You have the Grand Tech F11D sniper rifle, the Grand Tech F11D blaster rifle, and the Grand Tech F11D blaster. Uh, these are all silver, and just lately, Bioware has been off their game when it comes to weapons. I have not been impressed with the um, uh, silver weapons 
neither of them, not the lightsabers, not the blasters, not the, you know, snipers or the assault cannons or anything. They just haven't been very good. They've been selling so poorly on the GTN. Maybe the t uh, Technographer's lightsabers was okay. Obviously, the Platinum stuff is amazing, but I'm talking about that. I'm talking about the silver weapons. I don't know. They just ha just haven't been nice at all, and I they haven't been selling well on the GTN. So that's unfortunate. Uh, normally, when weapons are good, that makes the pack a lot more worth it because these silver weapons are very common drops from the pack. And if you're just getting junk, like if these silver weapons are just junk and they're selling for like 10,000 credits on the GTN, that's completely useless when you're opening a pack. So, um, so hopefully we're going to be seeing some nicer weapons in these in future packs. On to the mounts. We only have the images of two mounts. One of them is called the Losun JY83. It's a bronze mount and this is just complete junk. Uh, some of you might find it nice. I don't find it nice at all. And with all the other mounts in game, there's so many nicer bronze mounts to, to buy. So um, yeah, this one kind of is just going to be junk from the pack. The other one looks actually very cool. That color scheme is pretty nice, but it's unknown, so we don't know what it's called. We don't know. It might be a reward. It might be a ops reward or something like that. It's not necessarily going to come from a pack. Finally, we end with the two pets. We have the Grand Varactyl. This is silver, and then the Woodland Born Tiger, which is also silver. You know me, I don't really talk about pets. I mean, in general, they don't sell very well in the GTN, and they're, they're more junk that's coming out of these packs. So... Uh, overall, I'm very excited about those gold armor sets, but other than that, I'm just hoping that maybe we'll see some nicer stuff from this pack. Maybe the mounts will be better or something, because the silver and bronze armor sets are just not very good. The weapons are pretty crappy, and we've only had one mount really to, to see, and that's the crappy bronze mount. So hopefully the other mounts, maybe the weapon tuning, are going to be really nice and make that pack worth it. But uh, other than that, that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely love doing these um, cartel pack upcoming items things. And it's very nice to see these things beforehand and to get excited about them because I'm so excited about the Unrelenting Terror's Armor set. I can't wait to open the pack that has that. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.